Good morning, my name is Clay and I am here to talk to you about the TPNet, uh, training privacy preserving deep neural networks under side channel power attacks. Let's jump into it. So the whole idea here is that with the typical uh, deep neural networks that we tend to utilize today for a lot of the like massive applications, they're very vulnerable to side channel attacks. In fact, to the point that if we can gather power traces while these are actively running or being trained, we can not only infer the structure, meaning I can tell you the number of hidden nodes and the number of layers and other things internally that normally you can't get from these things, but also I may be able to gain access to the data. Now, where this gets a little bit spooky is what if we are using data that is sensitive to the users, so medical data, uh, political data, uh, other sensitive things such as that, we probably don't want the end user to be able to infer that, or if I'm actively training a model, I don't want an outside source to be able to say, hey, this is the data you're using to the point that we can identify characteristics and things like that. So. The goal of this study then is to build out some sort of defense against such attacks because currently the algorithms are not protected. So again, the wider picture here is we want to prevent side channel attacks from inferring the structure. Now the uh, photo that's uh, presented here is kind of a more lighthearted example. Say that I'm trying to identify different objects, so a cat, a dog, a truck. Traditionally, I would just feed that data through my DNN, and then I would get a classifier that when I feed it a different image, it will be able to successfully um, say, yes, this is a cat, yes, this is a truck, yes, this is a dog, okay? But in this instance, as the attacker, if I can observe that training process, I can not only identify which images you use to train on, but I may be able to craft a more specific attack and say, hey, your data was lacking this property, I believe that I can get your model with the correct dog to say that it is a cat, right? Or something similar to that, of being able to really manipulate the outcome of the algorithm, okay? So to help prevent this then, what we have developed is this novel model, this uh, uh, TP net. So the whole goal of this again is to protect the internals of the algorithm. So it's broken down into three different pieces, the first of which we train a, punch, train a bunch of independent sub-network uh, constructions. And basically, it's just smaller, less connected versions of the full DNN, okay? So from there, we then take these random subnets and we train them up, okay? Once we have those trained then, we run predictions using all of them, and we select the best prediction from each of the subnetworks. So we're doing a lot of simultaneous training and things to really kind of add more computation to the system. In doing so, we're really obscuring the details of the power traces because now we're running multiple subsequent things that are indistinguishable. In doing so, we're really concealing what's actually happening, okay? So, the results that we have so far then, um, it has a competitive accuracy, meaning that like at most we lose around a percent of accuracy, and that's pretty good. I mean, especially considering the fact that we're doing random trainings and things, like intuitively it almost seems like this should be much worse. However, it does help to avoid things like overfitting as well, so it's kind of a two bird, one stone kind of situation. The other piece of this then is how how much do we improve the inference accuracy? Meaning, if I attack this algorithm using uh, the side channel power analysis, do I see a decrease in how much I can gain from doing that process? And we, in fact, do. So we go from being able to infer all of the internal structure to around half of it. Now, there is still work to be done to continue to improve this. However, this is a massive improvement on the base algorithms. Thank you for your time.